A stop loss order is designed to limit an investor's loss on a position. It can also be used to buy or sell a stock when it breaches a certain price which we call the trigger price. I have a long position buy position on Reliance for which I'd like to place a stop loss. There's two ways to do this. One, I can go to the market watch, choose the script and place the counter order. Two, I can hover my mouse over the position and choose exit which to me is the preferred way because it puts in the right quantity in the counter order and all I have to do is choose SL or SLM. If you choose SL, you have to enter a trigger price and a limit price. As soon as the trigger price is breached, the order is sent to the exchange as a limit order. If I choose SLM, I have to enter only a trigger price. As soon as the trigger is breached, the order is sent to the exchange as a market order. Your chances of execution are much higher with an SLM order as opposed to an SL order. We do not allow SLM orders on option stocks. On everything else we allow SLM orders and that's the preferred order type. So my trigger price is 989 and it's an SLM order so as soon as the trigger is breached my order will get executed. I also have a short position on ICICI for which I'd like to place a stop loss. Now I can do this from the market watch. So I'm going to place my stop loss on ICICI Bank now. It was a sell order so I'll place a buy stop loss and this one I'm going to choose SL. I have to update the quantity and my trigger price is going to be 264 and the limit price for a buy order always has to be above the trigger price. If it is below the trigger price, my order will get rejected as you can see now. Says trigger cannot be greater than limit price. So let's do this again. I'll buy ICICI, I'll make it 10. I'll change the trigger price to 264 and my limit to 265 and my order will get placed. And then if you look in the order book, you can see your stop loss orders pending. Do note that for stop loss orders, you do not need any additional margin. Whatever margin is available with you, if you have a position, you can place a stop loss for it without seeking any additional margin. So you can modify these orders or you can cancel them to as you please. There's another way to use stop loss orders to enter positions. Now what happens is, Quite a few people like to enter positions above or below a certain price. I've been tracking Infi for a while now. Today it's got a gap down opening already. And personally I believe if it breaches the 960 point, the stock has more downside. So I'm going to place a stop loss sell order on Infi. This is an SLM order. I'm going to place my trigger as 960 what will happen is as soon as 960 is breached my order will get executed if you want to enter a position below a certain price and you just place a limit order or a market order there's no way it's going to wait till that point it's going to get executed so the only way to do it is to use a SL order so you know there are levels and you want to enter above or below a certain level just place an SL order and forget about it if it breaks that level your order will get executed if it does not break that level you don't have to worry about it.